we woke up this morning, looked outside, and there was police here. Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. Hey guys, welcome. I have been wanting to film like a welcome. proper vlog for so many days now. And I just need to give you guys a little update. We've almost lived here for a week and, but obviously this is a completely new build. So there's, Gabriel, you're so just <laughs> This being a completely new build, there's a lot of little things that happen. The Wi-Fi and security cameras. <clears throat> We don't have a shelf. We need some shelves back there. So there's a lot of little things to do each day. So there are workers that come over every day, which is fine. But I just was filming. It's like, I'm not going to whip out a camera and start vlogging while there's like workers here. But it's so, a good problem to have because we are so happy that we're <laughs> in the house. The option was to move in later when everything was fully, fully complete or to move in when we could, when there's still gonna be work. And people yeah. would come over, and so obviously we chose to move in as soon as we could. I'm gonna go hang up with a couple, well, I need my toolbox. Anyway, so I have filmed clips over the last few days that we've been unpacking and living here. So I think I'm just going to put them in now so you guys can still see them. Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. So you are currently in my bathroom. A lot has happened since I last vlogged, so we officially live in the house now. This is our second official day being in the house. So our first night in the house was very interesting. We actually had a terrible sleep. Milo barked basically the entire night, I guess, because it's a new environment for him and he's not used to it. Um, I don't know, he barked the whole night. But last night he was really good and he didn't bark. I slept all through the night, it was great. Something exciting that's happening today is I think in like an hour or so, someone is coming to install Wi-Fi. I don't know if you can hear that, but it just started pouring. It is such a gloomy day today and it's kind of the perfect day to be snuggled up on a couch watching a movie. We currently don't have any Wi-Fi. We also don't get phone service in this house. So I think what I'm gonna start with is um, getting some blue tape that we were given and I basically need to mark everywhere that I want like a towel hook or a towel rack or a toilet paper holder that sort of thing basically all of the bathroom accessories so you can see our towels are just like being thrown over right now because we don't have any towel hooks or anything so I just need to go around to every bathroom and mark with the blue tape exactly where I want everything to go what are you doing I don't think he can hear me right now he has airpods in we have the fire on we got a tv installed yesterday I heard your voice like through the, the headphones and I was like I know, I was like, I don't think you can hear me right now. You can see the rain behind you. It's like the perfect gloomy day to watch a movie. This is our toilet paper holder. There, maybe. Toilet paper holder. Toilet paper holder. Toilet paper holder. What an angle. What a shot. What a freaking angle. What a freaking angel. Oh, I need a hug. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, probably something like that. Right, guys, you agree? Okay, one done. If I'm correct, I think we officially have Wi Fi. Do we? You are correct. Let's try and set the TV up. It's connected. So now let me try the Apple TV. Activating. Is it active? We got Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally. Woo! Woo -hoo. I wasn't going to tell you about this yet, but I have been working on something very big. I just got my Postmates delivery. I haven't cooked dinner in the house yet just because we're still unpacking some stuff and I don't even have like a full fridge of groceries or anything. A little bit of our stuff is still at the condo. We are kind of slowly taking trips every day. Anyway, I just got my dinner. I ordered a gluten-free pasta. It looks so good. I totally didn't even think to vlog this, but Gabe and I have gone through most of our kitchen boxes. You have Got some Netflix on now that we have a TV with Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, dude. Thanks. For you, darling. Woo! Another one bites the dust. Another one bites freaking dust. We're doing well. We are. Okay, hey guys, it is Tuesday. I'm actually having a bit of a sick day today, but we just got a rug for this room in, so I thought I would vlog it. I'm having a bit of a sick day because, you know, it's that time. It's the most beautiful time of the month. All 
All right, so we are officially in. It is currently Wednesday. I have a few plans of things I wanna do tonight. I wanna show you guys a couple things that I got. Right now, I'm gonna transfer all of the hand soap that we have into these glass amber um, bottles. I really love the look of these. I got these in packs of two on Amazon, and then they just have this little black pump. And what's also nice is that you can get a big refill of um, hand soap, so you don't have to keep going and buying these. You can just buy like a big refill and just fill these up. So um, I have these in every bottle bathroom and then I have one um, in the kitchen too. So I'm going to do that so all of the hand soap is in these jars. Okay, I'm going to try something. Do you want to try it with me? This is non-sponsored but I am just part oh, of the demographic. Oh, oh I, I am so looking forward to this right now. I buy from influencers ads and I've seen so Who many... Who would have thought influencer marketing is a thing? I am seriously in the demographic. So I've seen so many people promote this cereal magic spoon. It is high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, blah, blah, blah. A lot of how we eat, like I eat gluten free. So I'm gonna try it out. We will be honest and tell you if we don't like them. So the flavors we have, cocoa, frosted. Blueberry. And fruity. fruity. I'm gonna say that's the one I'm not gonna like the most because I never liked Fruit Loops as a kid. You're insane. We can get these little balls. Guys, the freaking Captain Crunch. The What were the fruity Captain Crunch? Fruity Pebbles. No. Oh, I don't know. I'm Australian. <laughs> it was the fruity, it was the Captain Crunch that had like the little, the, the little fruity balls in it. Oh my. So, funny story. I ordered this, um, like, plates and bowls of Target. I didn't realize that these were so small. Let me show you. On the shelf here, we have the little small bowls. In the big bowls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we have these little salad bowls. That wasn't even, it just sounded funny and as it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, that sounds inappropriate. <laughs> Guys, which one do I try? Let me know down below. Um, what should I try? Coco. You, you know what we should do? Have a little bit, get four bowls and put a little bit in each and test it on. That sounds like okay, a good but time. this is a moving vlog, so I don't need to spend too much time. No, this is doing a, a cereal this is review. a cereal review. Love right there. Ooh. Thank you, doll. No worries, doll. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Shit's Creek. It's been around for a very long time. I was just late to the party, which I usually am with most things. But uh, do we have milk? Um, I have almond milk right behind me. Oh, I just don't like almond milk that much. I'm sorry. Anyway, if you watch Shit's Creek and the character David, we kind of like, well, especially me, I'll just go around the house or just- Well, no, it's the mom character. Yeah. I don't, Moira- David! She'll be like, David. Anyway, that's just, I just love saying it. I'll be like, mm, cereal? Mm, David. 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 This cereal will taste better with regular milk. Okay, well, just each to their own. I'm just letting you know. I don't mind almond. All right. I, she stirs it. I hate that. I hate it. She it. likes she likes to get them soggy. It's disgusting that nobody likes the soggy ones. She like lets her cereal sit. Cheers. She lets them she lets it sit for a bit to get it soggy. Oh, as, that actually tastes like fruit loops. Yeah, but neither of them are as potent as like mm -hmm. a normal. But it's just not as nice. sugary. It is nice. I'm gonna do a bit of the I'll do blueberry. All right, gonna get a little soggy. Wait, you're doing the blueberry. I'm gonna do the frosted. Frosted was usually my favorite, either fruity or frosted. I think I'll like the frosted too. I like this. I like blueberry. This is really good. Really? Well, there you go, guys. Our non-sponsored Magic Spoon review. Magic Spoon. Uh, expect an email. My favorites are probably blueberry and cocoa. Mine are fruity and frosted. We have four different things we want to hang up. We we're currently on a mission to find the toolbox. Gabe found it. They were just stacked under all the boxes of my Legos. I'm just laughing because it says fragile Lego. Literally all of them. <laughs> Fragile, fragile Lego. And, Lego. and look, I drew up arrows to make sure that they all stayed upright. So hilarious. Look how cute. This is a big canvas of um, one of our wedding photos. First thing we're gonna hang up, we are in our loft. What we're gonna put up are these prints that I got from an Australian website. Loft is done. The official first piece of artwork hung up in our house. I think it looks so nice. We still need like throw cushions and blankets and stuff. Now we're gonna go hang up some prints that are for our bedroom that we got in the mail a few days ago. They're super cute. I'm very excited to show you guys. So these are our prints. That was the last photo shoot that we did in LA right before we moved. So I got two of them printed and they turned out really nice. What, are you so <laughs> No. Have it. Thank you. You're welcome. They look so pretty. 
You look so pretty. Yay. Good freaking choice on those photos too. Thank you. Well, you helped. What, pick them up? Yeah. Yeah, I know, but then, no, I mean, this was your concept. This was your yeah. idea, you know? I was just saying to Gabe that looking at this as a whole now, it looks like the Photoshop mood board that I put together months ago. Of like, I put together the pictures and the frames and the bed. I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh, this is like my Photoshop board in real life. Have you talked about this before? No, I haven't. So basically, just before she bought everything, she wanted to make sure it all worked together. So she threw all the images from all the websites into Photoshop and like lined them up so it looked... I wanted to see what everything would look like together. Mm -hmm. I just didn't include this little puppy. That's a cute shot. This is um, another thing that I found on Instagram that we've been trying out. It's um, called Olipop. It's like a healthy probiotic, sparkling tonic. Gluten-free, vegan, no added sugars. It's made with good things. It's like an alternative to soda. One thing I do have to say, it's not as fizzy as soda. It's not as carbonated. So it kind of tastes more like a juice than a soda. But too. I prefer that. I don't love really fizzy drinks, so um, I've been enjoying these, but this is a new flavor that we haven't tried. What do you think? I like it. Can I take... Yeah. I'm not big on like a ch like cherry flavored stuff. It's very good actually. Cool. That's really good. You I'm like a big cherry. cherry and a big vanilla guy. Dude, you should ASMR. Look, look really close. Look close. That Movember beard. Mm. Sorry. You can hear it, right? <laughs> it's the most beautiful time of the day where we make breakfast and all the way good morning guys it's the next morning and we're going to make some breakfast you already know my favorite paleo pancakes so we woke up this morning looked outside and there was police here basically yesterday well we found out this morning that our builder his wallet got stolen yesterday also yesterday one of the workers that came here yesterday had his ipad stolen well no this is the irony it was the guy setting up the security cameras and he got them working after the stealing happened. So we didn't have any record of it on, on the cameras. Isn't that crazy? <clears throat> yeah, but there's apparently someone who went through the net. This is the word on the street, but obviously Jess is gonna do detective work because because I'm trained, I've seen Monk She's multiple times. She's seen every episode of Monk multiple times, so she knows how this thing works. A guy went through and got like two of the workers' cars out front and like got stuff from the cars and then went like down the street and apparently there was another like car breaking. It's just crazy that no one saw it yesterday. Like, like there no were workers one... outside. I don't know, there was just, everyone was in and out. There was like people here like doing all the construction stuff. And, so crazy. I don't know, it's wild. So I don't know if like what information the police took down. I don't know like if they're gonna be able to figure out who it was. I feel bad for Builder who just has to like cancel every card and get a new yeah. driver's license. Anyway. Anyway, pancakes. So. Everyone's safe. Everything's fine. It's just like I, it was weird. You feel bad because it was here. I yes, I feel so bad that it happened at our property. Like thankfully nothing else got stolen. Anyway, that's our little news of the day. We're gonna make some pancakes, David. <laughs> All right, David. Okay, guys, it is the end of the day. I think it's 6 p.m. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but today was when all the toilet paper holders and the towel racks and all of that uh, were being hung up. But this room now is like fully complete. So this is our living room, and then this is a powder bathroom like right off the living room. This, I think, has become my favorite room in the house. So we just got the mirror installed today and it just looks so good. It really changes this whole room because before the mirror went up, it was just that um, whole wall of tile. So it really opens it up and I don't know, I just think it looks so cute. But yeah, I wanna get like a plant here. Like I, I still need to decorate it a little bit more, but, and then I'll just show you, this is the guest bathroom. So this hook went up and then we have, um. Some towel hooks there, the toilet paper holder. I also got this from Urban Outfitters, which I just think is so cute. They have some really cute bath mats on there. But yeah, a lot happened today also. So this is our guest bedroom. It's a work in progress, but um, this TV got mounted today. So it's really cool. It's the Samsung frame TV. Basically you can buy these bezels that um, attach to the TV. So I think you can buy like a black, white, and then this beige color. So it looks like wood. And basically when you're not using it, you can set it up. So kind of like a screen saver. It will show a photo or you could do a piece of art. You can choose what you want, but um, yeah, then it looks like a frame on the wall, which is super cool. Started to set that up and like have guests come in and have a photo right there. But yes, it was quite a successful house day. It's all really coming together and it's very exciting. I'm going to keep doing a bunch of unpacking and organizing vlogs. I actually got some things from the container store yesterday. Basically my plan is to unpack everything and then 
reorganize everything. Right now I just want to get everything out of the boxes ready to organize. I don't want to try and unpack everything and organize at the same time and I need to see everything in each room first. Please subscribe if you're not already. I can see on the back end like who watches, who are subscribed and not subscribed and there's so many people that watch that aren't subscribed so if you like my videos it would mean a lot if you subscribed. But I think I'm going to end the vlog here and cook some dinner. I'm probably going to start vlogging again tomorrow. I'm just kind of vlogging every day at this point. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Hope you guys have a great day or night. Whatever time it is. Um, yeah, love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.